Abdullah lays in bed deep into the night, drowning in his own sweat as he's locked into yet another fever dream of that day, the day when Emir took his only friend away. Even in the sleep-induced haze, he can still smell the mix of the rain and the mud as he crouched over the grave, whispering quiet prayers to any god that would care to listen. Dulla the Broken Dulla is a Pictish man of a particularly antisocial disposition, having rejected traditional Pictish culture and left his tribe to live deep within the tundra with the only other person he could stand to be around, his blood brother Talokan who had insisted on leaving the tribe to ensure Dulla was safe. Life in the tundra was hard but simple, and the two had made themselves a nice little cabin. That was until Talokan sustained a wound from a large direwolf during a hunt, a wound that soon became infected and gangrenous, deteriorating his health and eventually taking his life. Dulla had lost the only person he could stand to be around and his stubborn attitude simply could not let it go. He spent many weeks sat in front of the grave, praying to Emir, Yog, Krom, Dagon, Zath, and more, anything to bring his brother back. However, nothing worked. Within a few months, Dulla had fallen into a deep depression, finding the simple tasks of washing and cooking to be almost too much for him to handle. Many sleepless nights were spent sat on the side of the bed or staring at the ceiling, praying for his brother to crawl out of the grave and enter the cabin once again. Dula's pattern of behaviour pushed him deeper into his depression, until one day he opened the cabin door and saw before him a giant skull. How it got there, he did not know, but he took it as a sign. He mounted the skull within what used to be his brother's old bedroom, and that night the skull spoke to him in his dreams. He demanded exactly what Dulla was all too happy to provide. Dulla began to harvest offerings from passing travellers, those often escaping from the war towers to the mounds of the dead. These hapless travellers were often too happy to wander into the cabin and accept food or a drink, but Dulla would be all too happy in return to knock them out and drag them into the Iron Maiden, draining their blood to offer to the nameless god he now relied upon. Dulla's sacrifices were not without consequence, as he offered the blood, bones and bodies over the coming months to the giant skull, the nameless god took something else. It slowly began to leech Dulla's own humanity, discolouring his skin and changing his eyes from their usual deep brown to a piercing white. Whilst Dulla tried his best to appease this god and bring his brother back, he was slowly chipping away at his own humanity decaying his outward appearance and beginning to slowly turn him into the monster he had become inside. The nameless god had also taken his rest from him, depriving him of sleep. On the rare occasion he did manage to fall into a dream, he landed within a deep pit of blood, bodies and death, where the direwolf that took his brother stands in judgement over him. Dulla was once an antisocial, unconventional, but otherwise human Pictish man. The more learned scholars of the tribe may have deemed him defective, but he was ultimately human. But now, Dulla the Broken has changed himself into something else completely. Will his efforts finally raise his brother from the grave, or will he destroy himself before he achieves that? Thanks for watching guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This was a character biography for Dula the Broken, the resident of my desolate cabin build guide from a little while ago. You guys seem to really enjoy that video and the story behind it. I've been looking for ways to not only create buildings in Conan Exiles, but also to create characters and stories that fit within the world. And this should be a good one for all you role players out there. I've played plenty of roleplay servers myself, though I usually choose to play GTA roleplay, and I know that sometimes it's really difficult to think of new, interesting and compelling characters to play. I usually lean towards characters that inhabit the grey area in terms of morality, and Dulla definitely fits into that area, as a character with good intentions that does bad things. How will Dulla's story end? Well, that is really up to you guys to decide. Feel free to take this template and use it to fuel your own roleplay stories. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys do with it in the comments. Next time, I think we'll take a look at Tara Genuinus, definitely a much kinder character that maybe takes her affinity for nature a little too far at times. 
As usual, all my links are in the description below, and of course, a big thanks to all of the esteemed cultists over on Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.